Hello friends, it's story time with Miss Dina. Bring your favorite animal and a blanket and get ready to listen. All right, friends, our story today is called Light, Shadows, Mirrors, and Rainbows. Written by Natalie M. Rafinski, illustrated by Cherie Boyd. Let's get started. Delightful Light. Shadows play on a sunny day. Water glints and gleams. At a storm's end, a rainbow bends. Wherever you look, light dazzles and dances. It makes wonderful shapes and colors. Light is what lets you see things. Fun fact. Light comes from the sun. Other natural light is made by lightning, fireflies, and the northern lights that shine in the Arctic. Light comes from light bulbs of all shapes, colors, and sizes. Fun fact, even when a room is dark, you can still see shapes and shadows. That means there must be a bit of light sneaking in. Light streams out in rays. See if the rays of light that stream from a movie projector in a dark theater. See the beam that travels from a flashlight. What makes shadows? We've talked about this. When light rays are blocked, there are spots of darkness. The sun shines on you, but it can't shine through you. Your body blocks the sunlight's path and makes a shadow that follows you wherever you go. Sometimes your shadow is in front of you. Sometimes it's behind you. Can you guess why? Good question. Why do you think sometimes the shadow is in front of you and sometimes the shadow is behind you? Hmm. Yes, it's because it depends on where the sun is. Is the sun in front of you? If the sun is in front of you, then you're blocking the light and there'll be a shadow behind you. If the sun is behind you, you're blocking the light and the shadow will be in front of you. Even indoors, shadows jump across walls and the floor. Shine a flashlight at the wall, then wiggle your fingers for some fun. Make shadow creatures that joke and jabber. Inch your hand closer and closer to the flashlight. Your shadow creature gets bigger and bigger. What happens as you move your hand farther away from the flashlight? You have to try that. How do mirrors work? When light hits something smooth and shiny, almost all of the light rays bounce or reflect off of it. When you see yourself in a mirror, light rays are bending from you to the mirror and back again. Your image is a reflection. All around your house, reflections store, stare back at you. Look at your face in a silver toaster or a shiny spoon. These reflections look different from the ones, from the ones in the mirror. Sorry, the font is really tiny. <laughs> the moon has no light of its own. Moonlight is really sunlight reflecting off the moon. At night, the reflection lights your path and points the trees, paints the trees silver. Fun fact, not everything makes a shadow or a reflection. Light can go right through objects that are clear. Moonlight can stream through a window, making a, making a bright spot on the floor. What 
makes a rainbow. A ray of sunlight is like a rope that made, that's made of many strands. Each strand has its own color, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, or violet, or purple. After a storm, the air is often filled with water droplets. When rays of sunlight shine through the droplets, the rays fray like rope. All the colors in the rays separate and bend in slightly different directions. Fun fact, on a sunny day, you might see a rainbow in the spray of a garden hose. You can see a ra- you can see rainbow colors in a diamond sparkle or on a delicate soap bubble. A ram- rainbow arches across the sky. Look up and see the parade of colors that are wrapped inside every single ray of sunlight. You can't see all the colors that are in a rainbow. The colors of light of the far ends of a rainbow are invisible to people. These colors are infrared light and ultraviolet light. Not so fun fact. Ultraviolet light from the sun can burn your skin. So when you're outside, that's why you put on a special lotion called sunscreen to block out those UV rays that tend to burn your skin which can be very painful if you get too much sun. Miss Dina knows all too well being very fair-skinned. All around, light is sparkling, swirling, blinking, bending, and bouncing. Watch, wonder, investigate. Our world is shining with colorful new things to explore. Here's some things that you can do, some experiments. Make a loony loony spoon mirror. Get a large shiny metal spoon, hold it in front of your face with the inside of the spoon curving towards you. How is your reflection on the spoon different from the reflection in a mirror? Now turn the spoon around and look at the reflection on the back of the spoon. How does this change your reflection? Funhouse mirrors play the reflection play the, with reflections in this way. Have you ever been to a fun house where you go inside and the mirror makes you look all wavy and funny looking? That's the same concept as a spoon. Make your own rainbow. Fill a water fill a bowl with water, put it in front of a sunny window, place a mirror in the bowl, and with its shiny side facing the sunlight, lean the mirror against one side of the bowl so it is standing up. If it won't stand up by itself, you can just hold it with your hands. Now have a friend hold a piece of white paper outside the bowl, across from the mirror. The water in the bowl will separate the sunlight into colors and the mirror will reflect it. A small rainbow will spread out on the white paper. You may need to tilt the mirror a bit to really get an eyeful of color. Fun. Shadow tag. Here's another way to play tag with a group of friends on a sunny day. Choose one person to be it. Everyone else makes a big circle around them. When they say go, you run. Don't let, their, don't let them stomp on your shadow. Look at all the ways you can move your body to keep the shadow safe. If you get caught, you're the next shadow stomper. The person you catch will be the stomper after that. The person who can go the longest without getting stomped caught is the winner. <laughs> that sounds like a fun fun game outside. Um, let's see. Enlightening facts. Bright and hot. Light is energy and can heat things up. Sunlight can warm your neck and shoulders. It can make a sidewalk so hot that it burns your bare feet. Things that block light take in the light's heat. Life-giving light. Plants use sunlight to make food so they can grow tall. As plants grow, they give off oxygen that we need to breathe. If there was no light, earth would be too cold for anything to live on it. There would be no plants, no food, and no oxygen. Faster than fast. Light is the fastest moving thing in the whole universe. In air, light rays travel 
at about 186 miles per second. That's 10 million times as fast as a car on the highway. Starry light. Scientists learn about stars by studying a star's light. Starlight tells us how fast a car is moving and whether it's moving away from the Earth or toward it. The colors that make up the light from a star can even tell scientists what the star is made of. And trick legs. Look down at your legs when you stand in a swimming pool. They look stubby and short. That's because light bends as it goes from the air to the water. The the bent light makes your legs look shorter than they really are. So next next summer when you're in the pool, take a look at your legs and notice if they're short and stubby. All right, my friends, that is it for our story time. I hope you enjoyed our story. Don't forget to hit that like or and subscribe button, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.